will be my pleasure to introduce to you our next speaker, the Honourable Jack Snelling, uh, MP, the Minister for Health here in South Australia. Thank you very much, Jason. I have to say, far more important than the Beatles in the 1960s, the uh, balcony hosted the Premiership Adelaide Crows teams in 1997 and 1998, and we look forward to them being back there in 2017. Can I uh, acknowledge uh, this land uh, that we meet on today is the traditional land of the Kaurna people and we respect their spiritual relationship with their country. I also acknowledge the Kaurna people as the custodians of the Adelaide region and that their cultural and heritage beliefs are still as important to the living Kaurna people today. Can I acknowledge the SA Ambulance Service Chief Executive Officer Jason Killens, Mr Martin Bowles, the Secretary of the Australian Department of Health, Ross Coburn, Chair of the Council of Ambulance Authorities, David Waters, the uh, Chief Executive of the Council of Ambulance Authorities, Board Members of the Council of Ambulance Authorities, Chief Executive Officers and Commissioners of Ambulance Services across Australia and New Zealand, uh, the Honourable Reverend Lynn Arnold, former Premier of South Australia and other invited guests. Thanks for the opportunity to officially open the 2017 Council of Ambulance Authorities Annual Conference. It's quite an honour that South Australian Ambulance Service has been chosen to host this year's conference. I'm pleased to see that we're joined by delegates from Canada, the UK, Australia and New Zealand, and I'm delighted to welcome you all to South Australia. Importantly, we're joined by the Chief Executive Officers of all our Australian and New Zealand Ambulance Services and their senior managers, plus health policy makers and community leaders, academics, researchers and suppliers of goods and services to the health sector. Over the next two days, you'll be exploring every facet of ambulance services and how the sector can together deliver the best pre-hospital care to our community. The South Australian Government is dedicated to a health system that fosters continuing clinical innovation and high quality care for all South Australians. And one obvious example of this dedication is our new Royal Adelaide Hospital. I hope that many of our interstate and overseas visitors will have the opportunity to take in some of the sights of South Australia this week, but I especially recommend that if you have the time, see the exciting developments taking place on North Terrace with the nearly completed new Royal Adelaide Hospital located right next to the South Australian Health and Medical Research Institute building. The opening of the new Royal Adelaide Hospital will be one of the most iconic moments in our state's history and we are immensely proud. And our South Australian Ambulance Service will play a critical role in this historic event. There has been and continues to be an incredible amount of work being done across our whole health system to ensure that the move goes smoothly and safely for patients. The work has been led by Jason Killens, the Chief Executive Officer of the Ambulance Service, with over 18 months of planning to ensure that the move will be both efficient and safe. SA Ambulance has overall command for the clinical move and ramp down activity due to their extensive experience in planning and operating large events which require the use of multiple vehicles and staff over several days. This all in addition to business as usual crewing. But as the saying goes, if you want to get a job done, ask a busy person. And the enthusiasm of our paramedics and ambulance officers to support this event has been extraordinary. Over 200 individuals have volunteered to help in the move with 170 of those expressing an interest in providing clinical support. Resources for the move include the ambulance bus, twin stretcher ambulances and multiple single carry ambulances. Overwhelmingly, the South Australian public have embraced our new hospital with a, an enormous positive response. More than 5,500 have jumped at the chance to look inside the new Royal Adelaide Hospital during tour days that we've had, had over the last couple of weeks. And before I close, can I wish you well for the annual gala dinner tonight at the Town Hall. I understand the finalists and winners for the CCA Awards for Excellence will be announced in the areas of clinical management, technical and educational services. I hope that the conference will enable you to take away fresh and important ideas which will ultimately lead to increased community safety, safety through better pre-hospital care across Australia and New Zealand. Once again, thank you and the members and the board for inviting me to officially open the 2017 CAA conference. Have a great couple of days. Thank you very much. <laughs>